Hi Gemini, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. We're going to do your almost personal reading, unfinished business. So this is going to be somebody that you feel connected to where you feel things um, are unfinished. Okay, that can mean a lot of different things. It could be someone you're casually dating. It could be somebody that you're in separation with. Uh, it could be someone you haven't talked to in a while. We're just going to pull the energy and we're going to see what comes through for you. So with that, Gemini, let's pull overall energy, some oracle cards here. What does Gemini need to know about this person they feel connected to? Okay, and feeling that there is unfinished business. Okay, well, the first thing I can tell you about your person here, they're definitely in their head a lot. They're feeling confused. It says, I feel unclear about where we stand. I almost feel like both of you could be feeling this way at this moment. Um, the two of you could be mirroring each other. Um, so I feel like this person definitely is up in their head. We do have the mend card this could tell me that this person wants to fix things okay i want to fix our connection you have damage we are both hurting from this and the other thing i'm seeing here gemini is that this person knows it's because of something they did or it's their habits this card says i don't know if we will ever change so it almost feels like there's something here in this connection it's like no matter what you do Either you don't get anywhere or it only comes to a certain point. But I feel like also, too, this is somebody who messed up because of this damage. So it could be a pattern with this person that this person keeps doing with you. So let's uh, pull the tarot. Let's see what else comes through. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have here? And I, I may, uh, I'm probably going to clarify some of these cards up here. I'm going to pull your tarot first. Let's see what comes through. Okay, this person's definitely uh, missing you, Gemini. I'm gonna pull another deck here because I'm gonna wanna clarify. Actually, I'm gonna pull two decks. You're the first uh, sign I am doing for uh, this reading. So bottom of the deck here, you have the Six of Cups. We also have the Five of Pentacles. So this person is definitely feeling down and out. They're missing you. See, right here with the Mend card, you have the King of Wands and you also have the Magician. Some of you are dealing with a Fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. I feel like this person is trying to figure out here, how do I fix things? What action should I take? They're, it definitely, they're up in their head. They're feeling very confused. The King of Wands for me is also an energy of somebody who kind of sits there, thinks about things, contemplates, what action do I need to take, all right? Let's clarify this magician, okay? The magician tells me that this person, they're gonna get to that place where they, where they know what they need to do, but I feel like there's something manifesting here with the magician. Tell me more about this magi magician energy. Okay. Yeah, so bottom of the deck here, you do have regrets. This person has regrets. They feel like they've made mistakes in this connection. So I feel like they want to heal this. You got healing and you have releasing. You also have here divine timing and believe in the right timing. So if you have not heard from this person, this just tells me this person has been doing a lot of thinking about the action that they need to take. 
And I feel like, too, this person is trying to figure out how to heal this connection. But also I'm feeling like they're trying to heal themselves. Because remember the damage card said here, we are both hurting from this, okay? And I'm going to clarify this damage card. Tell me more about damage. Tell me more about damage. Because I feel like things ended, things ended before things could really go for the long term here i'm feeling okay or i'm gonna say here there's not a whole lot of stability and i was clarifying the damage and look what came up you have here unexpected and you also have on the bottom of the deck here you have honesty and truth so it definitely feels, Gemini, that this person was not honest with you. And I have to say for some of you, there was a third party here that interfered. And a third party could be anybody, okay? It doesn't have to be another lover or another love interest. It could be anybody in this person's life or a situation that interfered. Take it how it resonates. But tell me more about the death rebirth card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Why is the death rebirth card here? Let me get another one. Okay. We got the shapeshifter. Okay. This is a uh, snake energy. See, this person wasn't honest about something. I see here with the death rebirth card, you have uh, not in a relationship and responsibilities. I'm going to say for some of you, this could be somebody who lied. They could have been in a relationship and they didn't tell you. Uh, for others, it could tell me that this person is single, okay, and there may have been some other responsibilities that they had in their life, and they were not honest about what that was. So they could have had some, I'm just going to say, they could have had some burdens. I'm also seeing a child here. There could have been a child involved in this situation, but I feel things ended between the two of you because I feel that this person was not completely honest with you. That is the energy that I'm seeing there. Okay, now I want to see what's after the snake. Some of you, there was competition. You could have been competing with a child. You could have been competing if they were married. You could have been competing with somebody who maybe they just wanted to be single here. Okay, but um, I see that this person definitely feels this person was non-committal with you. But look, the next card here is social media. They've been trying to keep tabs on you, okay, because there's something about you, Gemini, I feel this person must feel is very special because otherwise they wouldn't be in this confusion, I, I'm unclear about where we stand. Let's keep going. You have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Two of Wands. Again, uh, fire energy. See, this person is thinking about the future. I feel like this is somebody who has a hard time with change. When I first read this card, it says, I don't know if we will ever change. But what I really felt with that damage card is I don't know if I will ever change, okay? Because the King of Wands can be that energy like I want it my way, okay? And so I feel like this person, they may have a hard time with change and but I see this person doing soul searching and I see this person planning with that two of wands because this person knows they need to take some sort of action and they know that they need to do something different, right? Do I stay in the same energy here with this two of wands? And I'm, I'm in my head about this. Or do I take action to change things? That's what I feel like this person is really doing some soul searching about. So I'm going to clarify these two cards. I'm going to use a different deck just to see what comes through. Let's uh, start here about the hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Okay. Hmm. Abundance. Abundance, this talks about a positive mindset. This is someone who 
is trying to manifest you. The other thing with abundance here, I feel like this could be somebody who is like really about their money, the material things. It talks about blessings and gratitude. And you also have here poker face. Okay, this um, tells me that the way this person is feeling right now or what they're thinking, they're not showing you their hand. So if you feel like they are ignoring you or you feel like, you know, I haven't heard from this person, they must have moved on. This is someone who is not showing their hand, okay? They're really thinking about the risks here, risks here in the situation and what the options and possibilities are. And look at that. The next card you have here is Cupid's arrow. This talks about a surprise invitation. Love is coming, struck by love. So I feel like you've struck this person's heart, Gemini, but they're not showing you that. Okay, and that's why they're so in their head and they're so confused. Tell me more about this Two of Wands energy. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Okay, look at this. The Golden Mirror. Okay, self-absorbed and one-sided. See, this is someone, see, I said that. Do I stay in the same energy or do I change? And it goes back to their habits. And I said that with the King of Wands. I said, this is somebody who typically wants to have things their way. They're one-sided. I mean, they could have been, they could have had some of these traits. Could be narcissistic. It could be love bombing. One-sided relationship. And you have the mask. See, this is someone who was pretending they were truly hiding their true feelings from you, okay? Now, the other thing I feel here too, you got uh, not today. So you could have blocked this person. You may have set your boundaries with this person. You, they are thinking that you are still upset with them. That's that energy as well, okay? So let's keep going. You also have here judgment and the fool card. See, look at that. This is someone I feel they're confused because they know this is risky, okay? We're going to find out why, why they feel it's risky here with the fool. But this is someone I feel they definitely miss you. And there's something here about this person wanting to fix things uh, with you. Tell me more about judgment. I'm not sorry. Tell me more about this fool card. Yeah, separation and and uh, passion. I feel like I want to get one more. This is thinking about you, uncertain about the future, but definitely insane chemistry. Um, they have a burning desire for you. Okay, again, it just keeps coming up that they miss you. Um, it's also a card here of learning from the past. You have the phoenix here, new phase. Okay. It's, this is also a changed mind. So they may feel it's risky because they may feel right here that you are hurt and you're still upset. Okay. But they want to rekindle this connection. They miss you a lot. Let's see why judgment is here. Tell me more about judgment. Why is judgment here? And then we're going to see what the potential is here. Okay. We got the snake. See, something comes up about um, competition. Okay, this could be the other person, other woman, other man. That could be what happened for some of you. This person lied about. That's not going to be everybody, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. It's not always the other, another uh, woman. It could be financial. It could be a child uh, that they felt they had responsibilities. Okay, tell me more about judgment. Yeah, heartbroken. They realize that's why they're in this confusion they don't know where they stand with you because I feel they did something that hurt you deeply. And some of you, they it was a karmic relationship. All right. Let's see um, what the potential is here. Let's actually, let's see. Um, first, I want to see... Um, Will there be contact? Okay, let's do that. I feel like they're planning right now. That's what they're doing, but 
Will there be contact here from this person to Gemini? The Fool card came out again. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's a yes. We got three yeses here. Four yeses here with the Empress. Yeah, you got the Fool card. You have the Nine of Cups. You also have here the Knight of Cups and the Empress on the bottom of the deck, okay? This person has something to say or express to you, Gemini. So yes, I do feel like you're going to get contact from this person. And then you can just decide what to do. And I'm going to give you some uh, guidance too. I just want to say what this person's thinking or want to say to you. Yeah, look at that. I lost myself for a little while. I hope that you can forgive me one day and I hid who I really am from you. And that's, a, that's another confirmation that this person wasn't being their real self with you. And through what has happened, the damage that has been done, this person, you, you're helping this person change. Okay, realize that their actions have caused a lot of damage here and hurt. So let's get your guidance. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, boy. And angels for your guidance. What's the guidance here for Gemini? Okay. I'm going to pull the bottom of the deck. Now, you got codependency. This I feel like the guidance here is that this is someone I feel typically who um, entertains codependent relationships. Okay, so that could tell you something about this person. Now, for others, it could be that this person has addictions, okay, and that could be part of their habits and their and the damage here. You have listened to your intuition, okay, about this person. So I really feel, well, you know, when this person comes around, because I feel like they're going to, you're going to have to look at those habits and those patterns and even addictions has anything changed okay and that's where i feel like you're going to have to decide here with choose a direction i think it says choose a new direction yeah choose a new direction so you're going to have to decide gemini do i want to go down this path with this person has anything changed and then you also have here calling in your soulmate all right so I feel with the choose a new direction and calling in your soulmate, it's really going to come down to if you, if you continue to put your time and energy into this person, you're going to keep manifesting this person back into your life. If you decide that, okay, maybe I forgive this person, this person comes around, I forgive this person, um, but you know, I don't think I want to go down that path again then this is also telling you, you move in a new direction, you're going to bring in a new soulmate, okay? It's all about the intention. See the wand here? And there's something too about you, Gemini. People look up to you. You can see there's a crowd of people here and they're watching you, okay? So I feel like there are people that look up to you and um, you're also inspiring other people by your by your actions, okay? So there's something about that too. But I feel you are definitely manifesting this person, but also be very intentional about your thoughts and what you want to happen. And it may be after this person comes in. And I'm gonna say the next card is keep an open mind. And I think it says here, your soulmate may differ than your usual type and expectations. Okay, so, and you got, look at that, Cupid's arrow, you deserve love. So know that you deserve love. And I feel like, I don't feel like you have a problem attracting love in your life. So that's why I say be very, very intentional about what you want to attract. Tract not specifically a person. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.